I'm uh, Barry with PrimeSense, and this is our uh, demo of a media player using our 3D uh, sensing camera. Um, you can see here, I can select from some major apps. I've got some shortcuts. I have a basic uh, picture viewer. If I want to show pictures from my vacation sitting on my couch, I can do it just by flicking my wrist, go through some pictures. I want to search to find the cow we have hiding in here. I've got a simple keyboard. Now you probably would not want to send an email this way, but this is great for simple text input for searches and things of that nature. You know, we certainly are not a keyboard replacement, but we're also capable of showing uh, video with this application. Uh, you can start a basic video and sit there. You want to watch your movie. You've got all your basic controls without ever picking up a remote. You know, I can put my hand up. I can play. I can pause. I can also fast forward, rewind through a movie just by swiping through this bar down here. I've got control over the volume over here. So basically play, pause, fast forward, rewind, volume, all the things you usually pick up your remote to do, you no longer have to pick up your remote for. Uh, I'll go back here. And we have some, uh, some games we've developed on this platform as well. Uh, some third party uh, developers have helped us out with that. Calibration. Uh, it doesn't require any calibration. You just have to do a focus gesture to get its attention. Um, I'll show you when I start a game here, we have to do what we call our calibration gesture. You basically have to stand in a certain pose for about two or three seconds just to let the game know you want its attention. From there on, you can play. I'm going to set the mic down here so that I can uh, get into the game. And In the camera, we've got we've got an infrared projector and an infrared camera. We project an infrared pattern out into the world, and we observe that, and we infer a depth uh, map from that, uh, basically a 3D image of the room. Um, and then that information goes over USB into a PC, where our recognition middleware is running. It recognizes users, recognizes where their arms and legs are, where their hands are. We use that to implement all the uh, the user interfaces. So I'm just going to calibrate this thing real quick. Okay, so now the system knows what my skeleton looks like. I can start a game. This game is a little bit of a racing game, but it's very laid back to play because you just kind of have to lean in the direction you want to go. So right now I'm standing here holding the microphone. I give a little hop, and off we go. Lean left, lean right. I think that I'm holding this mic and it's confusing the uh, software a little bit. I lean right, the character goes right. I lean left, she goes left. I lean forward and she goes very fast. So it's a, it's a little racing game. And it's, uh, it really is a lot of fun to play. It's very immersive because it's like you're actually riding this, this little uh, jet engine. So, yeah, this, this is a third party. This is a demo of a third party game that's in development. Um, we have two or three third party game studios that are, that are developing games for us and um, third party middleware developers. We've created an open uh, consortium called openni.org that is a, uh, it's a nonprofit organization, similar in a lot of ways to OpenGL, where we have a number of our partners have all gotten together. We've standardized how the applications, the middleware, and the hardware talk to each other. Uh, anybody w that wants to write a driver that performs to the standard can use their hardware, their middleware, or their apps all together. So we're very open to that, yes. Yes, we, uh, we, we think the most important thing is really to grow the ecosystem in this area, and fragmentation is not really good for anybody. So we're trying to standardize everything. Well, right now the... Uh, the, the, the Connect it would be one commercial product. It's about $150. Um, Asus has just released a, a media streamer that uses this as their control. I, I don't know what the price is yet. I don't even know if they've announced it. But in general, your commercial products are going to all be in the same ballpark as the Connect. Thank you.